Welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland. Today, I'm going to show you that Power BI is not just for large enterprises to analyze their operational data. It can be used to create some fun projects like the one I put together as a birthday report. It may sound weird first to create a birthday report, but stay with me and I'll show you how adding a little bit of fun and spice to Power BI can go way beyond the regular Contoso sales report. Before we jump into the details, please drop a like to this video and hit the subscribe button. Clicking on the bell icon will bring you good luck. I plan to post this video at the end of March or beginning of April, just a bit after my birthday. The idea struck me around the start of March and I was keen to develop a report in which users can type in their date of birth and the report tells them how old they are. All of that in days, weeks, months, and of course, in years. On top of that, I wanted to create a lively background, moreover, a moving background, as we can also do that in Power BI. As the majority of the report elements are actually going to be placed on the background, the calculations themselves are not going to be too complex. However, as I only use a handful of daytime related calculations during my day job, I had to start from the Power BI documentation to find the best DAX option. But it's always good to learn new stuff, right? With that said, let's head over to the documentation and see the formula I picked. It's always good to check formulas from this fantastic documentation. You will probably find functions that you would have never guessed to exist in Power BI. I would suggest saving this page as a bookmark so you can always come back and use this material to guide your DAX learning and writing. But back to today's report. While I was reading my way through the date and time functions, I found this date diff formula. As it says in the description, it returns the specified interval between two dates. This means that I can use this as my starting point and fine-tune based on my special requirements. Okay, so now we have our core and probably only DEX function we are going to use in the report. On top of that, I think we will use concatenate and maybe if or switch functions. If you are not sure about those ones, I suggest use the documentation to read about them, especially the switch function if you like to write a lot of if statements. It could be a massive improvement to your calculations, and especially when it comes to readability. And of course, as we will need input from users, we need to use what if parameters. With that said, it's time to open Power BI and start working on these. You can see I have already added the background. As always, it is going to reflect my personal preference because I'm building this report. Just a quick note here. You can add any background image or video that you want. It will make your report pop. First of all, let's create three what-if parameters to be able to pick up users' DOB, as I'm not aware of another easy and clean way of picking up a day, month and year from users, that's why I need three of them. If you have any tips on how to create a single interface to pick up DOB, let me know down in the comments below. But it is not too difficult to create them, and it's not going to have a significant impact on the model size and speed. I'm not going to explain today how this works, but if you would like to learn a bit more about what if parameters, let me know down in the comments below. If there is a need for that, I can record a video dedicated to this awesome feature. So let's place those input parameters over the left hand side to our balloons. Just make sure that we use the right order. Date, month and year. 
I use letters next to the balloons to make it easier for myself and of course for users to know which one is which. And from now on, we just need to create our measures to be able to fill in this entertaining report page. As I mentioned in the intro, I will create measures for age expressed in days, weeks, month and year. So let's start with those. Once we have these basic measures, we can create some other calculations such as days till next birthday and some text-based measures just to spice it up. Those additional measures are going to fill up these blank spaces here on the bottom and will change based on the user input. Now that we have all of our measures, both calculated and text-based, we can start adding them to the canvas. And because we are making a fun report, it is a perfect opportunity to change our fonts to Comic Sans. Have you ever wondered why Microsoft added Comic Sans as a built-in font? I'm pretty sure they knew that at some stage I'm going to create a report just like this. Finally, we can change the page name to a more pleasant one. Alright, so our report is ready and we can publish it to the service and share with our friends. While in Power BI Desktop, we had all of those extra buttons and bits that hinder the user experience. Once the report is published online, those will disappear and our report will provide a much better experience. Well, let me show you the end result. A little longer than a few minutes later. Here we are in Power BI service and as I mentioned, we can no longer see those buttons and bits. Of course, the reason why I created this report is to allow users to interact with it and see details based on their birthday. So I published the report to my blog to allow you to play with this. Feel free to show it to your friends and family, I'm pretty sure that the kids are going to love it. And that's all for today and for my birthday. I surprised myself with a Power BI report. What a great present! You can see that Power BI can be used for fun projects as well. It's not only a boring corporate tool. Of course, Microsoft developed it in line with massive data consumption and they are doing a great job enhancing the tool itself. It cannot be a coincidence that on a Gartner Magic Quadrant, Power BI came up as the leader for a few years in a row now. But with some outside of the box thinking, you can turn this corporate beast into a lovable project that could bring happiness to all ages. 
Have you ever thought about creating something other than an operational report in Power BI? Do you have something similar? Let me know what you think down in the comments below and feel free to share your fun project with us. I'm always keen to see people pushing the limits of what Power BI is capable of. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this video, especially that there was not too much data to digest. Make sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new episode. Stay tuned for more like this. See ya!